दर्शन सर मृणाल सर एंड जयेश सर फर्स्टली तमें लोग ने खूब खूब स्वागत है टू द ट्वेंटी थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ द यू के एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल सो वो वेलकम टू यू ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच हेलो यू के हमने बहुत आनंद से कि तमें लोग हमारी फिल्म जोई एंड वी आर वेरी वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर ऑनलाइन ना अमे भी बहुत राजी थे कि मृग तृष्णा जो एक फिल्म हमने जो मिलू सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट आई थिंक यू नो माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक इज द फैक्ट दैट द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थीम दिस ईयर इज रे ऑफ हो राइट सो इन वॉट वे आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गेट योर सोर ऑफ पर्सपेक्टिव इन वॉट वे डी यू थिंक मृग तृष्णा रेप्रेजेंट्स रे ऑफ हो Yeah. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, do you want to go uh, with that question, Brinal, or do you want me to answer? Go that? for it. Go for it. It's you. It's so, all you. So, in fact, uh, Brinal and I have been discussing that you know there is so much of hope which is needed around us, and you know we've got a narrative uh, which talks about a dream, which talks about uh, you know the the hope to cross the river, and and how these uh, four kids actually you know um, get together and cross the river. uh uh you know uh, through their dreams uh you know with the with the narrative that the dost has uh, you know with those stories that the dost has uh, told them uh yeah. i think there is there is no nothing better than hope uh, you know uh, other nothing more than hope that we could uh, you know kind of uh, offer to our viewers so there you go with the hope yeah over to you mrna no so for me okay since darshan explained the bit of the film regarding hope it's a, i'll just tell you a quick funny uh, story about how this film came together so the thing is i met darshan uh, with another gujarati film that uh, co produce called saptapadi with amita uh, bachan corporation and uh, you know we had met together uh, for some tie up when he was heading reliance's uh, big uh, uh, big productions oh yes yeah, so the creative head and yeah. uh, you know we tried to do a, a a crossover where the actress from our film would play a character on his show on television and it it would be a cross branding but it never worked out but we still stayed in touch and uh, you know so i didn't know he's a writer i just thought he's one of those corporate big wigs and you know we stayed in touch on that aspect and then uh, he started reading he just generally started discussing scripts and ideas and uh, this particular one came out and i'm like you know where where has this been all along so you know that i mean we were hopeful for a long time i was hopeful for a long time we can somehow pull this off because this is a very different uh, film with you know a lot of different motives which i i mean something that you don't see generally in gujarati cinema you know especially mm. since gujaratis as you know are a lot more you know business minded and you know generally the mind works in that direction so such you know beautiful creative stories don't come out that much so we were very happy to have made it find you yeah absolutely. thank you very much <laughs> absolutely no i think that's very well said as well you know and i think um, i mean also actually i wanted to kind of just speak a bit more actually about that and I, and i think you just kind of shared about how the project happened and and all of that but you know as a producer you know and mm-hmm. as someone who does back projects what do you kind of look out for and what was that thing and i and think was it just the creativity of the story of muktrishna that kind of um made you agree to come on board for it so you know I'll, again i'll give you a little bit of a background so uh, just to put it into perspective it's a family business that i'm a part of and i'm the second generation that took over i i, I didn't actually think i would be a part of this industry i always had uh, you know an inclination towards films i studied in the us and i did a lot of film courses along the way but when i came back and uh, you know i got into business management consultancy and when i joined uh, my father in uh, the production uh, business we uh, you know it was very difficult for me to kind of in the beginning at least uh, adjust and get through and we used to make a lot of commercial cinema mostly regional wow. we did bollywood also but mostly commercial cinema and for me my idea was slightly different you know i i always felt there should be a little more to it and maybe it's just my sensibility maybe it was a little different so when uh, you know we it, it was a slow transition in the beginning but uh, for me i i think i heard eight of darshan scripts uh, before and, and just over time you know it didn't happen one after the other or so maybe over two two and a half years and then this suddenly this one 
called Titli. It, the, the, the initial title was Titli. It, when it mm. came about, um, you know, my mm. first thing, my, my, my first point to him was, you know, where have you been hiding this all along? You know, this is ex exactly a direction we want to go into. Yeah, in fact, there is something that I would like to add. You know, uh, so Mrinal is a very, uh, you know, he's a very curious producer. So he would every time, you know, when he's visiting Ahmedabad, he's, he lives in Bombay. So where, whenever he's uh, planning to visit uh, Ahmedabad, he would call me and he'd say, let's meet up for a coffee, you know, narrate a film to me. And every time I'll narrate a very, very commercial subject to him that, you know, maybe he, I don't know, somebody who lives in South Bombay, you know, has uh, produced all the commercial films. We never thought that you know Mrinal has an appetite for uh, such a such a progressive concept and finally when i said you know i have one you know darta darta I, mean, I was like little frightened that you know he'll just say no 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 what are you talking about <laughs> i said there is one subject and i just told him the one line and he said i want to do this film i said uh, well then let's do the narr uh, narration yeah over to you Wow, that was very interesting with the way it, it worked out. But I think it's wonderful to see a very different um, film for Gujarati cinema. And I think um, what I quite liked about Mukdushna as well is the fact that even though it's headlined by children, it tackles some very relevant yet rampant uh, topics in, in our society, as well as the stigma of mistreatment of specially abled people. Um, yes. and, and of course, it also addresses superstition and where does one get that right balance between reality and illusion as well. And I think that was something which I quite found fascinating. But I think, um, Darshan, sir, how challenging was it for you to balance the, innocent, the innocence of the characters with the sensitivity of the subjects explored in the film? So uh, obviously, it was uh, it was a very challenging part because um, uh, because one we, one has to keep in mind that you know we are we were dealing with children you know there were like four kids that we were dealing with and then there were these uh, subplots and narratives so in fact um, uh, you know I would I would give uh, a lot of credit to the belief that producers had um, and and everybody in the team had because you know we had to do a lot of back work we did. Uh, we had hired two script doctors to doctor the script uh, wow. so that, yeah, so that we ensure that, uh, um, you know, we, we, so there's a thin line, right? So, if, and you very rightly said, you know, you, we did not want to cross that thin line and, and we did not want to, um, you know, look um, a, anywhere, you know, making a, a wrong statement as a film. And, and that's, that's the part which was the most challenging. In fact, we did a lot of uh, pre-production uh, work. Uh, we also did a lot of theater workshop and stuff like that. Uh, and and uh, and I was uh, I was very sure that you know I did not want to go overboard with the emotional part of the film, um, and and somewhere uh, you know uh, and we could achieve it you know and uh, uh, I would I would give full credit to the the entire team my actors my producer everybody. Hmm, absolutely. No, very, very well said. And I think, well, also, uh, when I was watching the film, you know, I, I couldn't help but kind of think about a lot of the stories that I've grown up seeing or watching, especially of recent times as well. In fact, um, you know, we've had stories like The Famous Five, um, The Goonies, or even that horror film, It, for example, mm -hmm. which showcases a group of curious children wanting to explore and I guess come out of their mundane lives and go on a bit of an adventure, so to speak you know of course it was a bit more of a profound film as well I think in that sense as well but were any of these titles ever an inspiration to you when you were making this film not at all in fact my inspiration uh, so this this uh, particular film was uh, uh, was an experience that I had you know I was actually crossing the river um, uh, with a friend that I had uh, you know visited Narmada and uh, I was crossing the river and 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 this idea came to my mind that, you know, what if the, there are these four kids and who have never been exposed because we were actually going to an island. And, and that's mm -hmm. when the film occurred to me. Uh, my, uh, if you look at, I mean, if you ask me about my inspirations from cinema or, 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 or the kind of people that I would have loved watching, uh, one, of, uh, one of the strongest influences that, uh, you know, for children's cinema that I've had uh, is, um, uh, is Satyajit Ray, you know, I mean, the master filmmaker, right? His work, right. Uh, you know, um, it speaks for itself. You know, we don't need to, uh, Indians don't need to look for in inspirations anywhere. You know, the kind of stories that he's told. Uh, uh, however, uh, these are all, 
you know incidents that we we've, uh, we've uh, kind of uh, you know gathered from personal lives of people even my father is person so every every story that jayesh has said uh, the, so the those uh, you know stories uh, were stories that my father has told me you know when i was growing up and these were some real life incidents that had happened to him when he was a child and living in uh, uh, in some villages of uh, uh, saurashtra for some time so uh, yeah wonderful that is interesting and anapre uh, dosni baat kar rahe the so i think i'd like to bring uh, jayesh sir uh, into the conversation oh. here um you know jayesh sir mane khub uh, interesting lage che ke how your character in helaro actually ek evo uh, character hato jo um badi uh, ladies ne encourage karta tha ke uh, oloka ji oloka na sapna hata oloka na e pursue kare um so that was something which i found very okay. fascinating uh, પ્રોત્સાહન મળ્યું હતું પાછું દોસ્ત એક એવો કેરેક્ટર છે જો um uh, a bada chokra nu sapna ne pankh aape che and i think that's something which i mm. really really found wonderful to so, uh, tamara mate e, e, is this something tame a a a ek ek goto cho ek 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 sort of line tamara characters ma are you looking for such characters which inspire and um i guess promote a sort of progression uh within the characters is this something which you actively look out for na na itle jani joi ne goto nahi પણ થાય છે એવું કે મારી પાસે આવી ડિફરન્ટ ટાઈપની સ્ટોરીઓ આવે છે મેં જયારે પહેલી વખત સાંભળેલી આ ફિલ્મ મૃત કૃષ્ણ ત્યારે સાંભળતા સાંભળતા એટલે વાર્તા આખી બાળકોની છે સાંભળતા સાંભળતા પછી દોસ્ત નું કેરેક્ટર આવે છે પછી એની ભાષા અલગ છે એ વાર્તાઓ કરે છે એ જેમ જેમ એ ખુલતું ગયું એ જેટલી બી વાર છે સ્ક્રીન પર જેમ જેમ ખુલતું ગયું તેમ તેમ મને થતું ગયું કે યાર આ કરવું વધારે ટફ છે એટલે જેટલું હેલારો ટફ હતું એટલું આ કરવામાં એટલે મને મજા એમાં આવે કે અચ્છા આપણે જે નોર્મલ પોલીસ ઓફિસર હોય કે નોર્મલ એટલે ડે ટુ ડે લાઈફ નું કઈ પણ હોય તો એ આપણે આપણા માટે એકદમ ઈઝી છે પણ આ સાંભળતા સાંભળતા મને એવો વિચાર આવ્યો કે આ આપણે કેવી રીતે પોતે કેવી રીતે કરવાનું કેવી રીતે આપણે એમાં કલર તો એ સાંભળતા સાંભળતા હું જેટલો અંદર ઇન્વોલ્વ થઈ ગયો તો આવું જયારે પણ થાય ત્યારે મને લાગે કે હા યાર આ કરવાનું અને આ લગભગ હેલારો પછી મેં પહેલી એવી સ્ક્રિપ્ટ સાંભળેલી અને મને સાંભળતા થઈ ગયું કે આપણે કરવું છે ગમે તે થઈ જાય એટલે એકદમ ડન હતું પહેલી વખત સાંભળીને જ બધું ક્લિયર હતું મારા મગજમાં કે આ આપણે કરીએ છીએ બીજું એનો લુક આખો અટાયર અલગ છે અને જેટલી બી વાર વાર્તા કહેવાની વાત આવે જેમ કે હમણાં જ કીધું દર્શનભાઈ કે હવે એના વિશે બી પણ અમારે એવું ડિસ્કશન થયેલું એટલે આ માણસ ગાંડો છે કે એ મગજ થી સાયકો છે છોકરાઓને ડરાવે છે વાર્તા સંભળાવે છે એટલે એટલું બધું મિક્સ છે ને એની અંદર તમે વાર્તા સંભળાવતા હો ત્યારે ત્યારે અમુક વાર્તાઓ એવી રીતે કહેવાની એટલે આખી એક વાર્તા પરફોર્મ કરવાની છે દર બે ત્રણ જે બી વાર્તાઓ છે એ દર વખતે પરફોર્મ કરે પછી હજી એક સીન આવે છે છોકરાઓ મંદિરમાં લઈ જાય છે સૌથી એટલે ફિલ્મમાં મને ગમતો સૌથી પેલો બ્યુટીફુલ સીન છે જે એ બધા છોકરાઓ એને મંદિરમાં લઈ જાય છે અને મંદિરમાં જે કોન્વર્ઝેશન થાય છે લોકો વચ્ચેનું તો એ બે ત્રણ સીન એટલા બધા સરસ છે તો હા મારી પાસે જયારે પણ આવી કોઈ વાર્તા આવે અને ખબર નહીં કુદરતી રીતે આવી જ જાય છે એટલે મને સારું છે મને ગમે છે આવી બધી વાર્તાઓ કરવાનું હા એક કાફી કાફી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ એક્સપિરિયન્સ હશે તમારો બીકોઝ લાઈક યુ મેન્શન કે તમારું કેરેક્ટર જે હતું ઇટ વોઝ નોટ અ વેરી લાઈક સી વિથ વિથ યોર કેરેક્ટર આઈ મીન ઓબ્વિયસલી નોટ ટુ કમ્પેર ઓફ કોર્સ બટ જસ્ટ બીકોઝ ઇટ્સ અ રિસન્ટ એક્ઝામ્પલ દેટ કમ્સ ઇન ટુ માય માઇન્ડ લાઈક ઇન હેરારોમાં ઈ back story ji hato it was quite simple but here it ketla bada layers hata you know to the character ketla bada different uh-huh. shades hata you know uh-huh. and i think that must have been quite challenging for you as an actor hai na 
પેલી બાજુ ના જવાય એ જે આખી વાત છે એ પોતાની જ બેકસ્ટોરી છે પણ ક્યારે આપણે એવું બતાડતા નથી કઈને નથી કેતા પણ એ હવે ત્યારે એવી રીતે કન્વે કરવું પડે કે આ પોતાની જ બેકસ્ટોરી છે બીજું એની ભાષા ને બોલી આવી ભાષા ને બોલી મેં કોઈ દિવસ બોલો ક્યારે પણ એટલે એના માટે it's very true because i think i so the gujarati i speak i think is kathiawadi uh, so dialect is kathiawadi if i'm not wrong um so i mean the dialect here was a lot different to the style of gujarati i've heard so darshan so what i mean so what uh, how did what was your uh, idea of uh, sort of presenting that uh, and and the character speaking that dialect in particular rather than the uh, sort of kathiawadi accent or anything else so the the first draft that i had worked on uh, had a very clean gujarati language that we speak in amdavad and vadodara ah now okay. uh, while i was uh, you know working with the team and and we were doing multiple readings and somehow some by somewhere all of us uh, you know um, started feeling that uh, no this is a very foreign language for these people we want to make it more believable and and we in order to make it more and more believable um, you know we started looking for language which is spoken in and around um, uh, you know the the narmada belt which is a tribal language so the belt that we chose was chota udaipur and 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 we started looking for um, you know for uh, for that particular dialect so we did like uh, you know we did involve some uh, theater persons to kind of inculcate that uh, that language into not only the script but also in the uh, in the actors we did workshops with them and and uh, and here uh, is when we we you know the film turned the full circle you know when i was uh, looking for the location i could not find the proper location anywhere you know we ended up being in chota udaipur to look for the so the, the place that you see is is actually chota udaipur mm. and i had never even seen this place in my life before so you know this is how i say you know films are made by you know some some supernatural power you know it's it's not uh, yeah. it's not made by us human beings you know it, it's 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 some other kind of creation you know and yeah. and uh, i was i was really taken aback when i saw this location because we we spent three and a half days traveling across the gujarat belt Uh, you know wow. looking for a yeah looking for a riverside place which would have such intense uh, you know scenery and you know yeah. so much of water and all yeah so yeah so chota udaipuri is a it's a very beautiful area of uh, gujarat it's on the banks of narmada um and and that's the language so chota udaipur is a district and and uh, that's a dialect that we have actually uh, you know uh, had in the film i would love to visit this i think this will definitely i think after watching the film i think a lot of people would be very interested i think in the very whoever wants to come will uh, you know i invite all of you to kind of come to gujarat and uh, please reach out to us or uh, uh, anuj and i'll put you in touch with the team who can take you there <laughs> wonderful definitely but i think minal so i wanted to come on to you actually now um because mm-hmm. um you know mruktishna as we know is a film um about illusions but yet finding comfort in your beliefs you know i think that's what i drew from the overall concept of the film um and i think i wanted to go to all all of you actually but i think renal so just beginning with you how do you as an individual separate fantasy from reality in life so you know with regards to this film at least uh, for me actually what uh, you know you asked me this point earlier what really attracted me to the film was you know there were constant references to a fine line between reality and fantasy so the thing is the the first uh, reading that we had with the uh, darshan uh, i remember it, it was just a treatment you know there was no script there was no um, uh, breakdown even in uh, you know gujarati itself it was just in english and it was just a treatment and a very brief scene wise description and i constantly kept thinking there's so much 
uh, overlap, just like uh, Jay, Jay Sir also just said, you know, uh, where there's uh, uh, bits of magical realism that would come in at various times and you don't know, you know, because it's children and you don't know what they're thinking and what they're imagining and what's, you know, what's going to end up happening is, you know, is it really happening or is it just in their minds? And a lot of that is left open-ended, you know, so... Um, mm. For me, I mean, when at least to your question in terms of the film, it it it, it kind of merged from one into the other, and that's for that for me was a beautiful part of this film. Wonderful, that was lovely, very well said. Um, Jay sir, I mean, uh, uh, what can you say? आपने मृत्युरचना नहीं बात करी है जी अने जी कॉन्सेप्ट जी चाहे टू सेपरेट फैंटेसी फ्रॉम रियलिटी तो तमे एस एन इंडिविजुअल क्या भी तम ब्रह्म अने सत्य थी डिस्टिंक्शन करो चो एस अ पर्सन इतने ऊँ तो इतने ऊँ तो एटी परसेंट फैंटेसी में जो है और वो मानस चु तो मने तो मजा जा सत्य में इतने जो है वानु जितनी जरूर हो बाकी मजा फैंटेसी नहीं छे तो जो तमारो इमेजिनेशन ने बदु वधारे निकले इतने जितने काम छे कामकाज ने जरूरत नहीं वस्तुओं छे इतने बराबर छे बाकी तो जे छे ब्रेन है छे अने मने अभी फिल्मों गमे छे क्या रज में हाउ टू ट्रेन माय ड्रैगन ने ए ए ए टाइप ना सब्जेक्ट मने गमे अने ए ए वो बदु वो जो तो मने मजा आए इतने हाँ वो एमआर रेवाड़ो चु इतने आवा तरंगी विचारो आवाज जो ही ओलका कई चीजें एक का केव केव अच्छा एक्चुअली आई थिंक के एक आर्टिस्ट कोई दिवस साच लो सो के भाई सिंपल विचार ना करे दिस ओवरीज लाइक दिस सोरो यू ओवरीज हैव टू एक्सप्लोर योरसेल्फ क्रिएटिवली एंड ओवरीज हैव जिनके जिनके दर्शन सरे आ विचार यूज़ ना हो स्क्रिप्ट मार के नदी नहीं पहले पर एक अलग दुन फैंटेसी इतनी फैंटेसी तो क्रिएट कर भी दूँगी। एब्सोल्युटली वन वेरी ट्रू। व्हाट अबाउट यू दर्शन सर हाउ डू यू काइंड ऑफ सेपरेट फैंटेसी फ्रॉम रियलिटी एस वेल। सो आई वुड से आई एम अ ड्रीमर राइट सो माय माय यू नो सेवेंटी परसेंट एटी परसेंट ऑफ माय लाइफ हैज बीन अराउंड ड्रीम्स इन uh, in fact, illusion is 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 a subject that I'm so fascinated by that you know my first uh, first short film that uh, you know traveled to a lot of places called was called Maya, and uh, right. Maya is the zero film to the illusion trilogy. So what you saw is the first part of the illusion trilogy called uh, to, to the trilogy, trilogy called uh, illusion trilogy. Uh, right. So Brooklyn was the first film to it, you know, and and mm -hmm. I'm, I've already started working on the second of the trilogy. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, Dost comes uh, in, in all the three films uh, in some or the other form. I, I just had a discussion with uh, Jayesh uh, <laughs> in a couple yeah. of days back that, you know, this is what I'm planning to do now. So, uh, and, and, and in life also, right? So, uh, I mean, I, I feel that, you know, uh, we as human beings uh, and most of us, you know, we've, we've stopped living, um, you know, our life in dreams. And I, I'm a firm believer that, you know, illusion is a very, very strong part of our existence. And that keeps us going, you know, every, every dream that you have, you know, every, uh, every thought that you have doesn't need to be real, you know, and, and, and that's the fun part, right? And, mm -hmm. and that's very simple. And, and I live it, like, you know, I, in fact, uh, you know, encourage my children to think like that. And, uh, you know, somebody tells me about, uh, you know, illusions and dreams, I get very fascinated by it. So I'm, that's my life, I would say. So, oh yeah, wonderful. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing more on the second uh, installment that you were saying, a part of the trilogy, the Illusion trilogy. Oh, I'm definitely looking that's forward called, to that. that. That's called Yayavar. That film is called Yayavar. I've already started working on it. Oh, wow. oh my God. Are you, are you allowed to share anything about it or is it still very early? Uh, stage? Not right now because I'm, it's still at a very, very nascent stage. Uh, we, are, we are doing just the third draft of dialogues uh, uh, for the film. Oh. So it, it's going to take about one and a half years for me to kind of go on, on to the floor for the film. With the oh, film. wow. Well, I can't wait till it actually, like when it actually properly transpires. We'll definitely talk then as oh. well, I'm sure, for that. But I think on a final note, um, 
it's a bit of a heavy question actually to end on, but I think it's very important. Um, you know, it seems like Gujarati cinema is on a huge revival at the moment. And I think I, for one, as a Gujarati, I'm very, very happy to see, um, you know, see some exciting narratives emerge from Gujarati cinema as well. But I think I just wanted to get your perspectives on this as well. Um, what do you think has contributed towards this popularity and vast interest now towards non-Hindi cinema and Gujarati cinema in particular. Minal sir, we'll go with you first. So, you know, for me, I think, um, again, you know, like I said earlier, the, the first Gujarati film I'd worked on was some years ago. It, it released in 2013. And even though I felt, at least at the time, we had a beautiful film, I think it was a bit ahead of its time in terms of, you know, where Gujarati cinema was at. We make right. uh, other regional cinema also in uh, Marathi and Bhojpuri languages, but those are a lot more mature in terms of markets. But when, uh, with Gujarati cinema in particular, you know what, at least, you know, Darshan and I have discussed this on multiple times over the years and, you know, in different ways, but the crux of it all is uh, what we, what at least I felt is Hindi as a language is very similar to Gujarati. So for many years, yeah. uh, Gujaratis would, you know, at home watch Hindi television, or go for Hindi cinema or so and so. But I think with more and more exposure in the last few years with, you know, very, so, so we've been primarily, you know, primed by Hollywood and, uh, you know, uh, European cinema to some extent, but mostly it's mm. just Hollywood that has been, and, and American television that's been uh, a big part of our mainstream uh, uh, media here. But uh, with, you know, access to stories from all over the world, I think it, it, it started getting the ball rolling where people would want stories from their own background. Because again, you know, as, as the audience here knows, you know, India in itself is, is, it's almost like a continent, you know, with different mini countries. And, you yeah. know, if each, each region has a distinct culture of its own. And, you know, as, as I think this exposure began, I think people wanted more and more stories of their own. But and and the and you know it's uh, been seen at least in the last few years how much Gujarati cinema has progressed. So 2019 was the first year that uh, Gujarati box office theatrical box office yeah. surpassed one billion rupees uh, in the year to 2019. Which, uh, if compared with uh, other uh, you know regional cinema, is might not be as much. But in terms of uh, the the year on year growth, it's been incredible. And even um, Ernst & Young released a media report in April, in fact, the first week of April this year. Mm. And, uh, you know, most of the uh, uh, dynamics were based on streaming uh, tendencies within India. And uh, it seems that Gujarati uh, content has grown over 60% in terms of, you know, how much was streamed a year ago as to, you know, the end of 2020. So 2019 mm. to 2020. It's grown, mm. it's grown a lot, lot faster than other uh, forms. So I feel mm. the future is looking extremely bright, you know, for our uh, Gujarati uh, cinema in general. Oh, yes, absolutely. And I think it's wonderful. I'm glad you mentioned 2019 as well, because that was a very significant year as well. Um, I think because Jayesh sir, uh, 2019, nato, I think Helaro uh, Nikru to cinema, a trailblazer, a it was a game changer, I think, for Gujarati cinema and the style of content we see there. But I think Gujarati cinema no uh style of film chevokafi alag alag che for quite some time now. We have a film like Gol Gol Keri and we also have Wrong Side Raju Bicha. So Tamnesu Tamaru opinion su chakshi, because Maru question ji hatu, it was about um, what's contributing towards the popularity and increasing interest in Gujarati cinema. So, what are your thoughts on that vishay? No, I don't know about the wrong side of Raju. I don't know about the wrong side of Raju. I don't know about the wrong side of Raju. Now, the Gujarati film or the Gujarati entertainment, like the Nata or Nata, a tendency basic is a comedy subject, comedy film, comedy natak. It's an audience. It's true. So, Gana Time Sudhi was too. But, when I was in the 
मृणाल भाई एवं प्रोड्यूसर्स दर्शन भाई जो डिरेक्टर एट आ सब्जेक्ट मैं लोग इन्वेस्ट करे प्रोड्यूस करे तो ये अत्य चेन्ज थे जुदा प्रकार फमेडी के फमर्शियल वेल्यू वाली फिल्मों होती नहीं अलग अलग प्रकार सस्पेन्स हो थ्रीलर हो अमुक तो हम होरर फिल्मों एक बे वर्ष बहु गुजराती फिल्मों बहु आग निकली जैसे इन टर्म्स ऑफ सब्जेक्ट एंडेंट and i think because the fact that there is this vast interest for different content as well and for um great content in particular um i guess darshan so that must give you so much uh confidence and encouragement right as a filmmaker to explore stories like nukrishna um in gujarati too right of course so um yeah yeah in a in a in a very uh, so i'll i'll answer that in a so you know i uh, for my full time job i am a researcher and and a professor of media business uh, mm. in one of the leading business schools of uh, india so yeah. it's called mica so now um, you know i answer this this question in a i would answer this question in a very very uh interesting way and different way and i might uh, you know uh, make some sense to you sitting uh, Uh, there in london uh, so see you know, in in uh, uh, in gujarat itself uh, uh, for a long time we made films which were not relatable for a large number of uh, our audiences we are very aspirational kind of audience see our our diaspora market is so huge right so mm. and uh, you know uh, your friends your uh, family members you know you would want to um, you know watch content that is very relatable to you you know the subjects that you have heard of or you want to relate with yeah. now uh, for a long time in gujarati cinema this relatability just went away you know for a, for a very long time hmm. and, and with the newer subjects that have come in and the kind of uh, you know consumer insights that we've started following and the kind of investments that have come come in you know filmmakers like me uh, you know so just imagine uh, rukrishna was written 18 years back but now i could realize it yeah so that's a fact of life right so so thankfully um, uh, you know there are people who are paying for content there are people who are also investing in content there are people who are making good content and there is policy which is also helping you know the government of gujarat policy all put together you know we could make uh, much better content and by the way gujarat i keep telling this and uh, and i'm going to prove this uh, one day you know and show to everybody that you know this is what it, uh, what i've been talking about gujarati market is no smaller than a tamil or telugu market we are so huge you know in terms of the kind of mm. in in terms of our purchasing power you know from the diaspora as well as from the gujarat market itself and and outside of gujarat market so if 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 done well we would actually you know uh, you know reach out to those numbers also uh, you know wow. we would have eight films doing more than 100 crores in a year possible you know absolutely possible wow <laughs> and and yeah since we are to, and like you mentioned you know it's it's great that you know people are there are platforms there who are are uh, very very accepting and very encouraging towards of uh, good content and diverse content and i think of course uk asian film festival is definitely one of those uh platforms which always encourages great wonderful stories and uh, i'm so glad that nukdishna was uh screened here at the UK Asian Film Festival which celebrates its 23rd edition so on that note uh Rinal sir Jayesh sir and uh Darshan sir thank you so much for joining thank me you. on Filmi Shilmi and congratulations once again on Rukrishna thank you very much thank, thank you, you very much. much thanks so thank much it was a pleasure thank you thank you thank you Anush thank you thank you aao jo aao jo aao jo bye bye bye